is gone. Uh, currently, we are doing the mission... Um, a bounty hunter mission. You got the wrong guy. Uh, we're on the second part of Days Gone and really enjoying this game, even though I got some pretty harsh reviews. Uh, this game's just a kind of a pick up and play game. Pretty laid back. Uh, not a whole lot of collectibles really to worry about. And um, I want to show you how to do this mission without doing a long ass bike chase to chase him down and not kill the guy. Um, so, you want to park your bike. Somewhat blocking the road here. That would be good. And when we activate this, the guy will cruise around here. Um, you can't even activate this mission without having a working bike. So you'll need no uh, bike upgrades like engine parts, uh, suspension, or any of that for durability because there won't be any. And so when we activate this. We're gonna pop a focus pill. We're gonna have a light machine gun. Colonel spotted him. So, focus pill and light machine gun. Sir, Colonel, I'll get him. Same gun out. Great. Asshole. Oh crap! We messed up. All right, let's try this again. I don't know, for some reason I didn't get a um, cursor on my uh, RPD. So that was really weird. I didn't get the health bar or a um what do you call it on there? What did you do? Well, aim cursor. But all you do is pretty much aim for the bike. And that's it. Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Please, just let me go. I'll tell you where I stashed it. I swear. You can watch the previous video where I don't really have the spoilers of this video. As you can see, the health bar and this way works really easy. Um, the other way, you're going to be chasing this guy with other bikers on your tail. Uh, shooting you and going through uh, different terrain and stuff. So I don't know. This is how I found it to be pretty easy. Thanks for watching. Peace.